Okay, buckle up. It's John Kenny, the 2014 winner for the Thurber Prize for American Humor for his hilarious novel, Truth in Advertising. He's also a 2019 finalist for Love Poems for Married People. We've had the pleasure of hosting John on a couple of occasions, and it's always a really good time. So without further ado, the Thurber 13. John, what is your favorite word? Uh, beach. What is your least favorite word? No. Name one thing on your bucket list. I've always wanted to visit Japan. Favorite book you read as a kid? Probably The Exorcist. Uh, my parents would read it to me before bed. That explains a lot. Yeah. Yeah, great. Um, what sound do you love? Water uh, over rocks, followed, I guess, by scotch over rocks. What smell do you hate? Yogurt. Who is your favorite humorist? People that come to mind who make me laugh in no particular order. Steve Martin. Patty Marks, Jack Handy of The New Yorker, and my friend Sloan Crossley. If you were sent to a deserted island, what one thing could you not live without? The answer to the question why I was sent to the deserted island. What did I, what did I do? Did I, did I do something wrong? I don't want to go there. That would... What folly of humanity do you find the funniest? Parenting comes to mind. We always do it wrong, even though we think we're going to do it right. And we love our kids in theory. And we think we're going to be great at it, but inevitably, you know, we do it wrong. I'm, I'm only basing this on my, uh, the notes from my kids' legal team. So Remember Thurber is listening for this one. Cats or dogs? That's pathetically easy. Uh, there's my dog. Right there. Muffin. I didn't name her. Are you a Thurber fan? I came to Thurber late. I'm embarrassed to admit. Um, I've made up for lost time. I, I think, I can't speak too closely to this, but I think I'm one of the few people who slept in his bed. He was not there at the, the time. You did sleep in his bed. Yeah. I did sleep in, in, in his bed one night in the house uh, alone. What is your Walter Mittyist fantasy? I guess since so much of my life is sedentary and um, not very action oriented, that it would be something involving maybe helping someone. Um, you know, it's like swooping in, um, like an elderly person who was about to fall, right? And I came to their rescue and like they're super grateful and I'm like incredibly humble and you know, they go off and, but then I see that like they've dropped their wallet um, and it turns out they're really rich and then I, I take the wallet. So I guess it'd be something like that. Last question. If comedy heaven exists, who do you want to greet you at the door? Um, that's not depressing at all. Um, one of my huge heroes, uh, and he just passed away last year, is Buck Henry. You know, that would be amazing. If he greeted me uh, by saying, your books are, you know, so um, almost funny. And then he would like chuckle uh, and close the door. Okay. That is the Thurber 13 with John Kenny. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> um, now, is there anything you want to share with us about what you've got coming up? I'm working on a new novel. Uh, my editor is describing it as a funny novel about death. I'm hoping to finish that this year. Um, what do I have coming up? I have a dental cleaning coming up in two weeks, which I'm real excited about. Um, other than that, that's about it. I, I, I love that you're writing a new novel, so I, I'm assuming at some point we'll see another John Kenny book on the Thurber Prize submission pile. I hope so. Yeah, excellent. All right, well, thank you so much, and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you. You too.